Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. Weekly tarot reading December 9th to December 15, 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Uh, by the way, the spread is new. It's not going to be Elemental Dignity spread. And uh, because I decided to try out something more chill for these weeklies to see how it's gonna go so the first card here stands for the topic of your week is going to be the seven of pentacles followed by the next one which represents the energies that are supporting your week um the topic of your week that is going to be the the knight of pentacles the third card here represents the challenge uh that you need to overcome throughout the week we do have uh, the hangman the fourth card stands for the blessings, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the five of cups. The fifth card, it stands uh, for how the people sees you uh, throughout the week. That is going to be the six of swords. The uh, sixth card here, it's going to be what you can do to further your goals. That is going to be the nine of pentacles. The seven card, it is what you should not do, you know, uh, or what can obstruct you to further your goals. That is going to be uh, the page of pentacles. And then the last one, it stands for the guidance that Taro is offering. Uh, we do have the uh, Hierophant card. Very interesting. Actually, that is going to be quite of a... Uh, a week of a turning point here for you, uh, Taurus. So we do have the Seven of Pentacles as a topic and the Knight of Pentacles as the uh, energies that are supporting the team and the topic of the week. And uh, those two cards are <clears throat> really referring to you being patient. Uh, the topic itself, it is where you're waiting or throughout this week, you have to wait for a specific thing to happen. And that is all the team of your week at at that particular stage so instead of uh, scampering around and being frantic in regards to your uh, endeavors and enterprises it will be best for you to just catch up your breath and gather up your strength until this decisive event that is lurking behind the corner actually manifests itself now <clears throat> another thing that you can do here is really answer that question for yourself does the means uh, does the goal justifies the means or justifies the efforts. That is for a reason being it's the because the energies that are supporting the topics are energies of quite of a determination. That's um, how can I say it? Energies that are gonna make your um, your wish or rather like what you want quite clear in your head and not just only what you want but also how you want it as well and only when you move into that direction or when the path is clear to move into that direction only then you are going to support your actions with a strong determinations 
Now the energies as well are pointing of how you can boost your patience and how you can boost the recharge of vital energies. And that is by spending time among, uh, among nature. So if you can go on hiking, you know, if you can spend time in some national parks uh, or in generally where nature rules, that will be best for you, okay? To kind of calm and ease down your nerves, if you will, and to basically like i said boost your patience for the um for the decisive event to take place now the third card that it is about the challenge also refers about uh refers to being patient here we do have the hangman and as a challenge the hangman uh, refers to a futile effort okay so um it says that well, the card itself, it's simultaneously a, a breakthrough and a test. It is a, a test because you have to see things from different perspective. And this is why you got to wait for now, okay? And catch up your breath until this perspective kind of settle in your, uh, settles down in your mind. And once you do see things from that different perspective or from this different angle then a new course of action is going to pop up in your head as a plan as a strategy and etc etc and then when you start manifesting this uh, new plan or new strategy then the things are going to start taking off okay then then you're going to have your uh then you're going to have your breakthrough so again the challenge here it is just to be lower than the grass all right and to not not to take any drastic measures at that particular point but just wait is because with the uh with the hangman uh the skies darken are gonna be set into light again and the only thing you gotta do is just wait for that to happen so literally many things that are your concern right now uh, in a bad way are gonna resolve themselves on their own accord and all all that you gotta do is to just watch this thing to happen so the fourth card, it stands for the gifts and blessings uh, that you're going to have throughout the week, Taurus, and that is the Five of Cups. So a uh, few ways how we can take on this card. Now, <clears throat> one of the ways is that whatever disappoints you or whatever you are to lose throughout the week is going to be uh, either regainable so you can win it back or it's going to be just a trifle. So there are no major losses that you're going, if any losses at all, that you're going to experience throughout the week. It is like the time is going to slow for you, okay? But nothing is going to be lost through this period of a inactivity. <clears throat> and the other thing about the Five of Cups, it is the Whatever you do, even if you are in the verge of making some sort of a, a wrong move, okay, or taking on a, a wrong decision, something is going to happen that is going to bounce you back in the right direction. So the, it is very uh, unlikely, if, if you will, or I would say impossible to strain from the right path that you need to walk on throughout this week, December 9th to December 15th. So to me, Taurus, it does seem see, a very peaceful kind of week where there are, there are no problems that um, are going to concern you or they are going to concern you, but only mentally those problems are not going to manifest themselves around. And by the end of the week, many of them are going to be resolved on their own accord once again. <clears throat> so the next one it is how the other sees you. And that is going to be the Six of Swords. So people are seeing you as a... Uh, I don't know how to describe it really. As a someone who is uh, taking on in a starting position to, to start sprinting toward the future. So it's like people are seeing you as a someone who is determined to do whatever it takes to improve its own circumstances and to improve the circumstances either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well, disregarding, you know, uh, the dangers that may loom into from this uh, direction, while in the same time, it's, um, how can I say it? While, uh, while in the same time, uh, one is not irrational and, uh, and irresponsible, but one does understand 
that uh, right now uh, it's, it's the only thing that matters is that something is put into stir once again but in a right way okay so um what i can conclude here from this card is that people are going to see you quite determined to do something about it it's just it's not now right now it's not the time or at least throughout this week it's more like people are going to see you preparing for something rather than acting for a something then the next card here stands of what is going to um, help you achieve your goals and that is the nine of pentacles and when we talk about goals those goals may not relate to the topic of the week okay those goals may be something completely completely different but the nine of pentacles here uh, dictates leap into a career or love development all right it's like this should be your main focus right now and if one has to be on top of the other with the nine of pentacles career takes um takes an edge over the love situations so probably the card here points that you first need to stabilize your material position before you go to stabilize your emotional position in that particular uh, in that particular case but also the nine of pentacles it is uh, the card where uh, one needs to have big goals okay one needs to have um, big expectations for himself it is like catching the big fish in the ocean catching the shark uh, in the ocean so you uh what you can do here or what you should do to manifest your goals is not to satisfy for less when you can go for more and uh the other card here it is uh what can uh, uh slow you down or rather like what acts against your goals and that is uh, the page of pentacles so page of pentacles it is the slow drive okay uh, and it is always uh, the calculations what can happen what could happen what's uh you know what can go wrong and all these kind of stuff now um there is one sentence that i really really like and actually i go by it it is that not do not focus on what can be or what should be focus on what it is right now and that is exactly what you have to do so focusing on the on two steps ahead or trying to be two steps ahead is something that you should not it's a luxury that you ca cannot do at that particular stage and instead focus on the current stage of your journey you know this week for example where you have to wait for uh these decisive events to happen okay and then when they happen just grasp them and leap into your future career and love development as soon as the path forward is clear instead of calculating you know future possibilities and the last card here represents the guidance that Tsar is offering we do have the hierophant so a uh, few things i want to say about this card when it comes into this position one of the things it is that should you find yourself strained of a lack of understanding of what is going on you always need to see cancel now the card points that um, you can um, cancel yourself with uh, quite of a um, wise let's say a person because the card points to a benevolent support but also the the card represents hierarchy and it it shows that things are going to develop exactly as the way they are supposed to so everything happens with time okay you can't rush things you can't um, go for and uh, and force things to happen they need their technical time they need their also technical means to uh to happen just to give you an example here you know if you like a person you first need to start talking with each other then dating and then probably having sex and so on and so forth you cannot go with just moving in together straight away okay so there are particular definitive steps that needs to be executed before you can actually achieve certain um certain success into your enterprises and this is why the previous couple of cards are pointing that you need to focus on what it is right now deal with it and then see what comes after okay and uh, the last one is that whenever you face a problem throughout this week december 9th to december 15th 
the solution of this problem always resides in the framework of already existing uh, understandings and convictions so you don't have to reinvent the wheel all right so uh this was your weekly tarot reading taurus i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh we're going to see each other next time until then bye